Hello everyone, welcome to another Webflow tutorial video. Today I will show you how to connect custom domain with Webflow website. So first of all, when you have a Webflow website, you can go here to publish. And here, as you can see, you have two different options. You have custom domain and you have your own uh, you know, domain that Webflow actually gives you. So here you can go and you can basically click here to add a custom domain. And for you, it will probably be different, but since I don't have a Webflow uh, paid plan, right? As you can see, I will need to have a Webflow IO, IO domain. Now, if you want a custom domain, you will need to pay $14 for Webflow. Now, once you have that, you can go to publishing here. And here, as you can see, you have a custom SSL, you will have advanced publishing options, right? And you will be actually able to add a custom domain right here, as you can see. Now, this is how it looks like on Webflow University. As you can see, Open site settings, publishing tab, custom domains. This is just what I showed you here. And here you can actually add a custom domain. Now, once you add a custom domain, you will need to uh, obviously add it. Click add, right? And this is also important. Your default domain should be set to www domain if you'd like to connect only that type of domain, right? Now, also domain special characters, right? All that good stuff. You probably know that but also make sure to update your DNS records. To update your DNS records, you'll need to access your domain DNS settings. If you uh, bought a domain on Namecheap or GoDaddy, you will need to go there and you will need to add uh, the DNS records, right? No, the DNS records you'll need to point to your domain's Webflow site differ depending on whether SSL is enabled or disabled on your site, right? Each time you enable or disable SSL on Webflow hosted site, you'll need to update your DNS settings. So SSL is enabled by default on all the Webflow sites created after November 14, 2018, as you can see. So that's pretty much it right here is the DNS records for SSL hosting if you want that, but that's pretty much how to connect custom domain with Webflow website. If you have any questions or comments, you can always comment down below. Other than that, we'll see you in the next Webflow tutorial. Thank you guys for watching.